Hi there, young man. What you doing? Chilling. Working on my music, that's all. Wow. I see you're pretty focused on that. So you want to be a rapper or something? Something like that. If not, I don't know. So how do your parents feel about your goals in life? I don't know, cuz, um, it don't matter to me how they feel. Why it don't matter to you? Cuz, I don't believe they care about me and what I do. You seem to be getting a little angry. Is it because you're feeling a little neglected by your parents? Yeah, man. So, um, how do you feel about being neglected by your parents? Well, um, I feel real bad. I mean, like hurt. It seems like my folks always doing stuff. They always be tripping, man. Every time I try to do something, they try to, like, be acting like it's a problem or something. The only time they know I'm here is when I get into trouble or make them mad or something. What you mean by getting in trouble? Well, what I'm trying to say is that the only time I get noticed by my folks is when I'm doing something wrong. It's like I'm kicking it with my dudes or when the school call home or something. You see what I'm trying to say? So feeling this way makes you feel like, like what? Man, it makes me feel like my mom and dad. It's like they, they don't want me, you know? It's kind of like, I wish I wasn't born or something. This way, the more it makes me want to do things, you know, I don't want to do. You know, like hanging out late, cutting school, going to parties. Man, I don't want to do these things, but it's like, I don't feel love. So, so what, you know, who cares right now? I just don't want to be around my family. So why you don't want to be around your family? Because they don't love me no more. What's going on? Why? I mean, okay, so tell me, I mean... Can yes. you get off the phone with that mess? Okay, Mom, just give me a minute. Let me hear what they got to say. But Tanya, I Let's said see. get off the phone. Dang, Mom, why you do that? Do oh. what? What, you have a problem with what I did? So ignorant. <laughs> ignorant? You know what, I'll tell you what ignorant is. Ignorant is you getting out of my house. Hey y'all, what's going on? Your mama be in here, girl, and she kicking me out of the house. Mama. Rhonda, shut up, be quiet. I'm tired of this thing thinking she can do whatever she wants to up in my house. This is my house, I run this. Where are you going, Tony? Right now, man, I don't know. Probably go to the phase with grandma, but I'll be all right. Don't worry, okay? I'll see you later. I love you. Bravo, bravo. Huh, you guys deserve a BT Awards for what you all just did. Mama, why you kick Tanya out? Because she thinks she's grown in my house. <laughs> Look, stop asking me all those questions and go to your room. I'm I got a company coming over. Oh, 
just in time. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It's Rob. Hey, come on, hey, baby. Hey, baby, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. I see you're still anxious to get that throb from Rob, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, since you put it like that, I got a bad accident. What's that, man? Well, take this up to the bedroom. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love your ideas, baby. Yeah. since last night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know what, man? I gotta go out there. My business take care of it. Right? I'll let you later. So, Mama, who was that? None of your business. This is my house, and I answer to no one but me. So that's why you kicked me out? Because you got some dude in here? Listen, this is my house, and I can do whatever I want to up in here. Mama, I ain't even trying to hear it. You got this dude in your house. Man, that's probably the reason why you're kicking me out, so you can let him in, right? <laughs> you know what, Latanya? You need to stop worrying about my business and concentrate on your little life and get it together. I am. <laughs> oh, really? So what's this thing about this little boy, what, Tyreek? I know that's not that little Muslim boy. Oh Mama, what are you talking about? Uh-huh. What, what, what's up with you and your little Puerto Rican boyfriend? Mama, ain't nothing going on. We just chilling, that's all. Oh, really? Mama, I'm not you. You got this dude in your house, and you probably sleeping with him, too. Tell you, I'm a smack. You know what? So you rather hurt me than hurt the one that's coming between us? The one that's coming between you and your daughters? No. I'm just trying to figure out how you think your little old man is so much better than mine. Oh, Mom, I don't. I just find it kind of funny how you dealing with a 40-year-old teenager. You know what? You young girls don't know anything about a relationship. You know, you, you just tripped me out. Don't know nothing. Just so ignorant. Mama, whatever. You know what? The way I see it, you think you're grown. So I think you can make it out here on your own. I'm gonna need you to leave my house. But mama, I don't wanna hear the time. Just need you to leave. But mama, come on, Tanya. Let's go. Johnson. 
I said, take your seat. I said, take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to call your parole officer? Uh, you should call him his ring. <laughs> All right, class. Now that we're done with our little drama for the morning, we're going to start with our English lesson and move on from there. Okay? Yes, please. Yes, but hurry back so we can finish our lesson. You shut up. All right, class. While we're waiting for Trisha to come back from the ladies' room, We'll go on with our English lesson. Any concerns or questions that you have for me? Latanya. Well, I don't have a question, but I do have a concern about something. What's your concern, Latanya? Well, look, my mom kicked me out of the house, and I don't know what to do. I have nowhere to go. What am I supposed to do? Your mother kicked you out of the house, and you have no place to go? She started tripping on me, and she kicked me out of her house this morning, and I, I just don't. Hey, you can come stay with me, and I'll take care of you. <laughs> Why y'all gotta be so silly? I mean, this ain't no tanny pin, no game. You look like a silly rapper with that hair. But you need to grow up. Grow up. students to come back from the ladies room so we can continue our English lesson. Okay, that's good, that's good. Other than that, is everything else in here okay? Well, it seems that Latanya has a situation. Her mother yeah. threw her out of the house this morning and she, she has nowhere to go. Latanya, is that true? about this chicken head's problem. Yeah, I ain't got to do nothing. You ain't my mama. Oh, wait. Oh, no, man, I'm out of here. This is Wayne, my... sit Make it your oh. own. So you can always pay something like that for me. Yeah, I guess, but... So, I mean, are you okay? Is your mom really kicking you out of the house? Man, that's a whole nother situation. She just spazzed out, like, I'm like, Mom, you know, chill out. I was on the phone with Fee, and she just spazzed out. Can't respect me, get out of my house. I'm like, Mom, girl, what are you going to do? I don't know, probably go to my grandma's or Faye's or... I don't know, but... It's crazy. Figure it out. So what's up with you? I mean, you left class all in a hurry and stuff. I think maybe just like stomach flu or something like that. I mean, it's kind of odd. You didn't feel well at face house yesterday. No, I'm okay. You think you could be pregnant? What? Girl, no. No, you know, I gotta, um, I'll just, I'll call you later, okay? together at all. Uh, all right. I just want to make sure you're okay. Jay. Jay, what are you doing? 
Why is this house in such disarray? John, I'm tired. The air's not working, what? I mean, Jane, I'm tired too. I'm just getting a little tired of this. You haven't cleaned, dinner isn't prepared. I mean, what have you been doing all day since I've been at work? Stop yelling at me! It, it takes two to run this here. I go to work, and if you haven't prepared dinner, that means that our daughter Megan hasn't eaten either. And this is what I get. This is dinner. This is the dinner you have prepared for me coming home from work and our daughter. Megan! And what, solitaire? Really? John, stop yelling at me. Megan's gone. She's not here. She was just in her room a minute Mom! ago. Mom! She's not here! Megan! I just moved into the neighborhood. Yeah, I just moved in your neighborhood, Meg. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, as a matter of fact, your mother told me to come get you because she looking for you. She said if I see you, I should bring you home. Really? Yeah. So come on. I see you. Let me take you back home. Okay. Bye, Rhonda. Favor, I can give you 50 cents. What you gonna do for me? Let it bounce upon out of my face then. Excuse me, miss. Do you have 50 cents so I can call my son? No. Please? Nah, stop that begging. If you want that 50 cents, then you do my dude that favor like he asked. <laughs> is if you don't stop calling my phone and playing, I'm going to call the police. It's, it's me, Cassandra. Who is this? Cassandra. Cassandra who? Cassandra, she's mother. Oh my God. Where have you been? I mean, are you okay? I've been out here just trying to make it. That's all. Where are you? I mean, like, do I need to come and get you? I mean, are you fine? You don't need to come and get me. Just tell me how my son's doing. Look, Cassandra, you don't need to worry about that right now. I mean, whether you want to agree with me or not, you need to come back around. You need to be around your son. But I've done so many wrong things, and I don't want to let 
T down. <laughs> well, I mean, he's doing good. But you know, he could be much better if you were around him. Oh, I can't do that right now. Please tell him I love him and I miss him. You need to be the one to do that. Your son needs you. We need to understand and realize that everybody makes mistakes. But the one thing that makes people stronger and better, they learn how to forgive themselves. Look, you need, to, you need to give him a chance to forgive you. Give him the opportunity to forget about your past. You need to give yourself a chance. Um, not at this time. Cassandra, come here. Hurry up. Bye, Cassandra. You saying it's me? You're the only one that I've been oh, with. Oh no, baby, it ain't like that. Baby, you got the game all twisted. What do you... you know what it was when we met. Why are you talking like that? Tripping. You gotta get your life together. Baby. I need you to help me. Where are you going? Girl talking about she pregnant, I'm the baby dad. Man, but for real though, I need to holler at you in town right now. Alright? One. And I can't believe this white chick talking about I'm her baby dad. She must have lost her head. She wasn't nothing but a piece of white meat. Hey man. Hey, you gonna have to get up, homie. For real though. Don't get up like shaking your head like you got cerebral palsy or something. For real, chief. Your head bust like that. Papa was a rolling stone. Boom, 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 boom. Wherever he made it, that was his home. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all cool out with all of that. Ain't none of that kid's baby daddy. Whatever, man. You know about that, brother. Yeah, whatever. Dude, what? hey, you got to roll, man. You yeah, raise up, partner. Big dudes always can be tough. Man. Whatever, I got something tough for you. Hey, look. I called y'all down here because there was some people I wanted y'all to meet. Who is that? Look, I'm about to call her right now, all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's time for y'all to meet right now. All right. Yeah, so what I really wanted to talk to y'all about. No. Oh, for sure. What's up, Daddy? Not much, baby girl. Just kicking so on. Um... How's my baby girl doing? I've been good. I'll be better if you give me some money. Oh, so my baby girl wants some money, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I got you. Wait, hold on. Has my baby girl been doing good in school? You know it. All right, here you go. You just keep doing good in school, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make sure you take care of her. All right, Daddy. Hey, look here, baby girl. You know what? You got to roll. I got to handle some business with my boy. All right, I'll see you later. Who's your dad? You my daddy. Oh, I'm gonna grow up like you one day. You trying to grow up like big daddy, huh? No, I can't handle that. Hey, cool up, cool up. They're going these lame old dudes. Man, hold up, hold up, man. This is uh, my boys that I wanted y'all to meet. This is Officer Rogers right here. And that's Officer Taylor. Hey, man, hold up, 
pull up outside and move to the side. Hey, man, catch up. Man, if you don't get your... Get that cerebral palsy thing again. Man, so what you want with us? Man, there's two things that I need from y'all. First of all, you got that package from me? For sure. Oh, yeah. My boy is coming through for me. Yes, sir. Man, that's one thing you don't have to worry about because we going to always do what we going to do. So, what's that other thing you got for us? Look, Big's tie. I just wanted y'all to meet them so y'all can understand everything good, all right? All right. All right, man. See you later, man. All right. All right. Kid, I'll holler at you, man. All right. <laughs> All right, on the real, though. I ain't need for them to hit this part. I need y'all to get rid of this cat for me called T. This Arabian cat that live around the corner with me be hanging with my boy, uh, Wayne. And that T cat's a little too soft for me. So what you want us to do? Put him in a hospital? Shoot him? Beat him? Nah, 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 none of that. I just need y'all to get rid of him for a couple of days, you feel me? Alright. You know just what to do. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Alright. Hey, how's it going? Line it up for me, man. You been coming in for a minute, huh? Yeah. For sure. It was done picked up up in here. I heard about you. Drop a couple stacks on you, man. Time has taken a toll of such a magnitude that we no longer care about us. Hard and strenuous now has become the question, what about us? What's wrong with us? What's going on with us? What's going to happen to us? Why don't they see that the simple solution is to go back to tree switches, stitching cords, big black leather belts beating the living hell out of us? Why do the Bible say spell a rod and spoil us? Easy and commonplace as it become to say, doggone shame what comes out of our mouth nowadays. We having babies and are just babies ourselves. <laughs> we have lost our minds. <laughs> we have lost our sense of values and our way of morals. <laughs> we don't even value life, not even our own. <laughs> what about the children? It's the question, what about the community? It's the answer. What about us? What about the little people that come from the big people? What about us? <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the Nightly News. Our first story of this evening highlights the rash of violence against our young children and teenagers. Over the past several months, many of our young children and teenagers have been getting shot down by neighborhood gangs and by the police. Tonight, we have comments from one concerned parent. It's just sad how our young children and teenagers are being shot down by these senseless acts of violence. By these gangs and, and especially the police who are supposed to serve and protect us. I mean, it seems like they've always been told to shoot first and ask questions later. And the only thing they've ever said was that they were in fear of their lives. Oh, look what it's turned into. An all-out war. It's just ridiculous. Amen to that, girl. In response to that statement, there's a different opinion regarding this matter. Here's a statement from the police. First and foremost, we have hey, our honey. families at How home, too. I'm we fine. have to do what we got to do to make sure we get home. You feel me? What's you watching? Don't want to the thugs out here Just the gun, then naturally, you going to play off their reaction. And that's how it is. We got to protect ourselves, too. As you can hear, the climate of violence that our young children and teenagers in our communities are confronted with on a daily basis underscores the need for police protection. In other news tonight, a little girl by the name of Megan Smith has been missing for a few days. It is understood that she was last seen at the local playground. She is presumed to be about four feet, two inches, 
light skin complexion, and have curly hair. Mama, if you have that's my any information Megan. on the whereabouts of no, this little no, girl, that's please contact her. Yes, it is. I was with her at the park and a man Coming took up her. In sports. Are you serious? It's going to be all right, Jane. We're going to find Megan. You that, hear me? That's my baby, John. That's my baby, too. But all we can do is have hope and believe that we're going to find our daughter Megan alive. In our final comment. We hope that we can find the answer to the massive violence that plague our young children and teenagers and to dispel the sex exploitation and pedophile of our young girls. Have a good evening, and may God bless America. Now I see why my job is so hard. search for their daughter Megan. I understand Jane is not with us today, but her husband is here. Now, she is one of our children. And we as a church must do everything we can in helping the Smith family find their daughter. Now, turn with me, if you will, to the book of Acts, the seventh chapter and the 19th verse. And the scriptures read, the same dealt subtly with our kindred and evil entreated our fathers so that they cast out their young children to the end that they might live. Excuse me, Mr. Preacher Man. No mean to interrupt your service, but we'd like to speak to one of your members. Who? A Tariq Jamal Sadiq. For what? We have a warrant for his arrest on possession of an illegal substance, attempting to distribute an illegal substance, and conspiracy on transporting an illegal substance. Uh, there must be some kind of mistake, officer. Well, Mr. Reverend, we don't make mistakes on these type of situations. Plus, we have a witness that says they saw him distribute drugs. There has to be some kind of mistake. Terry is a kind and respectable young yes, man. Yes, yes, I can't believe he would be capable of doing such a thing. That's right. yes, yes, he is. Well, Mr. Preacher Man, we have a job to do. Rogers, grab a suspect. No. Couple. Oh, they got the wrong guy. Okay. No, no, we got this. It's, it's going to be all right. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 it's going to be all right, son. I'm going to be there right for you. Right Just, Just trust God. He's going to be there for you. Yes. Church, yes. calm down. Yes. Yes. Calm down. Right right. Church, calm down. Okay. This is nothing but a trick of the devil. Yes. Yes. And the only way we will defeat him is with prayer. Amen. Yes. Now, we need to pray for not just Tariq, but all of our children. Yes. Let us all stand and we'll hold hands yes. and let's pray for this yes. church. Yes. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in the name of Jesus for our son who was walked out of here. Lord, we pray for all of our children because there's many we don't see that are walked out of their houses. And God, we ask that you look upon the young woman that we cannot find in the streets. Look upon all of our children. In the Lord's name, we thank you and we praise you. Amen. And amen. amen. Now, for some of you, if you can meet me at the courthouse, be there tomorrow. We're going to get our son. And for the rest of you, consider yourselves dismissed. Yes. Thank you, it's going to be all right. We're praying for you and your family. 
Thank you. Thank just you. Stay encouraged. God is in control of this. Yes, okay. ma'am. Just stay encouraged. Thank you. God bless you. You too. Suddenly out here, man. It's so rough. So much violence, man. Everybody shooting, fighting, yeah. killed. It's crazy. Man, it's gangs back this way threatening everybody. It's ridiculous. Did you hear about what happened at the school? Yeah, I was reading about it this morning. Man, the principal always got shot. Wayne put a gun out on him. I should grab him. I'm glad I wasn't in that room, man. Yeah, I bet. I bet. So how you been? Good. Just staying out of the heat, you know? Did you have some trouble? No. I mean, the heat. Oh, <laughs> okay. Man, did you hear about that little girl that got kidnapped? Yeah, I hope they find her, man. Man, me too. You know, that's, that's ugly, you know, stuff like that. I don't like stuff like that, you know? Yeah, I don't know what I'd do if it was my sister. Yeah, I bet, I bet. It's like you can't go anywhere anymore, you know? It's rough everywhere. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm hungry. You wanna go to the store or something? Sure. Man, that's crazy. You gotta watch yourself around here. Don't touch her. What are we supposed to do? Just leave her here? No, but you can't touch her and get blamed for it yourself. Ooh. Her fingerprints are all over her now. We can't just leave her here. We gotta help her. She look real young. Come on. Sure is crowded up in here. I wish somebody else would leave, but she knows who I'm talking about. Look, mama, if you don't want me here, just tell me and put me out. You ain't got a front and say it to my face. I'm your mama. I brought you in this world, and I'll take you out of here. And I'll take you out. Now, Vanessa, calm down. Tanya, let's just go, okay? Just come back later. But this little attitude's gotta go. Mama. Mama, nothing. Just shut up and listen to me. All I'm trying to say is you keep jumping on Tanya's back, but you forget to look at yourself. Mama, look, Latanya thinks she's grown, and I'm just treating her like she is. You know, this world is a cruel place, and she gonna have to get used to it. Latanya's not the world. She's your daughter. Mama, you don't understand. Vanessa, I do understand. You know, your daughter's trying to reach out to you. She's trying to talk to you. Mama, you... But mama, nothing. Vanessa, if you cut me off one more time, you're dealing with a man younger than you. A little boy. What does he do every day? Standing on the street doing what? Nothing. Mama, you, you don't understand. I do understand. Mama, how are you supposed to understand? You know, just... Grandma. Mama and Tanya are arguing every day. I don't know where my father is, the situation with T, and what happened to my friend Megan. It's, it's just so much. Oh, Rhonda, Grandma wants you to know that none of this is your fault, okay? But I still don't know what to do. Oh, Rhonda, don't worry. I gotta get ready to go to a meeting. So you just go upstairs and go to your room and lay down a while, okay? Okay. Chicago, I know it's messed up. Coming up in the Chicago area, I done seen too many pallbearers. Carrying the casket to the grave of a young black male or a female that was
slain by their own peers. Most of them didn't even live to see 21 something years. Like my homie Dion, 17 years old, killed at the corner store in the drive out of a neon. And not a family going through a thing, it's the crime increase. Mama screaming and hollering and going crazy because her baby had been a victim of the streets. I could have sworn somebody said increase the peace. You could not dare tell me nothing wrong because Chateau's a war zone. Seems to me Al Capone, spirit, go live on. But not to be glorified because the kids are horrified. The parents are terrified of the evil outside. I replied, I can relate to your feelings. Ain't nothing new under the sun. We just added to the millions and millions and millions. I'm gang banging, following the in crowd, stuck in the black hole trying to get out. Mama hanging in the streets, daddy in a club, no love in the home, so you pack it up a cone with thugs. I know what's going on, I feel your pain. Where is the sunshine? We have enough rain. We need something positive, we have enough gangs. Most of us believe in God, but we don't have enough praying. I came up in all this mess. I've been stressing with depression and neglect. I know what you're going through. I know how it is to live in the home and how the rats and the roaches live there with you. I know how it is to be stepping death in the face. I know how it is to go to your own neighborhood and have your own race look at you with a heart full of hate. A generation who cursed passed on from the father to the son, mother to the daughter, jail cell to jail cell, hell holds straight to hell. The population of black males in jail continues to prevail, and they said your children will trail. But I've come to tell that you can make it. They said you'll never escape it, but never say never again. With Jesus Christ, you can win. Follow after the righteous, not your negative friend. Be your own man, be your own work man. Respect your body, don't let the enemy trick y'all. Christ there for you. Here's the example of a sample of the master to recognize that this true work called. Now I ain't coming here to preach. I came in here to release motivation into the streets to possibly help increase the peace. I came in here to reach. Ain't gonna be down after the week, but I'm on a mission to do it. I will pursue it and continue it to keep going against the negative influence of God's break. So the bullets will stop flying when your daughters and sons play. You know what? I've been sitting back and I've been watching all these cats around here. There's too many of these cats looking too soft for me. I can't let none of them mess up our business. Y'all gonna have to take care of that for me, all right? All right, we're gonna all take right. care of You got you, man. We're gonna handle it for you. For sure. All rise. The Honorable Virginia Watson is now presiding. Gentlemen, take off your hats. No cell phones, please put them on vibrate. As the Honorable Virginia Watson is in session. You may be seated. representing the defendant. I am, Your Honor. I'm Attorney Brown. I'm here representing Mr. Tyreek Jamal Siddiqui. I'm here to prove that my client is innocent and has been wrongfully accused of these false accusations. Prosecution, are you ready? Yes, Your Honor. I'm Attorney Stewart, and I will be representing the state. Well, before we proceed with this case, I'd like to ask, is the mother or the father of the defendant in the courtroom? Prosecution, you may proceed with your case. I'd like to call my first witness to the stand, Officer Taylor. Do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth shall help you God? I do. You may be seated. Yeah. For the record, please state your name and how you know the defendant. My name is Officer Taylor of the 11th District, and I know the defendant by his street name, T. I've seen him on the streets running with gangs, you know, dressing in those white tees. And according to some people on the streets, he's been selling drugs, and he even has young boys. Objection, Your Honor. Proceed, prosecution. That's hearsay, Your Honor. He cannot come in here and testify. No! Listen, counsel, I will not tolerate this type of behavior or disruption in my courtroom. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. 
Before I ask you to step down, Officer Taylor, are there any additional comments you'd like to make at this time? I think this defendant needs to be off the streets as soon as possible. No further questions. You may step down, Officer Taylor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Prosecution, do you have any more witnesses? No, Your Honor. The state rests. Have a seat. Unlike some, I do. For the record, would you please state your name and your relationship to the defendant? I am Pastor E.L. Williams of the Community Church of Chicago. Tariq Jamal Siddiqui is a member of my church. Tariq, if I may, is a good, decent, and respectable young man. Your Honor, there's nothing bad or negative that you could say about him. And as a leader of the community, I feel this young man has been wrongfully accused. This court is 
Hello? Jay! What's wrong? John, they found Megan. Where is she? She's at the hospital. Robinson. I assume that you are the parents of this little girl? Yes. I'm her father, John, and this is my wife, Jane. It's a, Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Pleasure to meet you. So how's our daughter? Well, she's doing fine right now. She's just resting. Gratefully, she wasn't hurt that bad. A few little cuts and bruises. Mostly she's traumatized, a little dehydrated. We ran a few tests and uh, we didn't find any internal damage to her body. Oh, thank you, God. The good news is she should be able to go home in a few days. Okay, doctor, thank you. Don't thank me. You should thank someone else that your daughter's alive and well. Doctor, how can I ever repay you for your generosity? I got a daughter just like you. If you don't mind, I have another patient to attend to right now. Please excuse me. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. I don't know. I'm. I'm just really scared right now. Look, I I think you need to get tested as soon as possible. Yeah, I know, but yeah, well, Trish, it's better to know now. Look, I'm your girl, and that's why I'm concerned. Yeah. I know you're right. All right. I get on now and go see what's going on with you. All right. Yeah, you're right. You're gonna be okay? Yeah. Charlie's gonna be good. All right, we'll hug. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you better go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. All right. Bye. Be safe. Thank you. All right, All right. tomorrow. Okay. So, what are you gonna do, Tanya? Yeah, I don't know, Karen. You just don't know how it feels when your mom ain't showing you no love. Tanya, you still have an opportunity to patch things up with your mom. You don't understand, Karen. She's still tripping hard. Look, 
I do understand. I do. But maybe you're just looking at the negative side of the situation. You listen. Look, you still have the one thing that I don't have. And what's that, Karen? You have your mother. That, there's hope. Mother, how are you doing? Well, Pastor, I'm doing fine. Been having a little pain in my body, but through it all, God is still good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey there. Hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> all right. Pastor? Mother? What are you I'm doing, doing Mother? I'm doing fine, Sister Holloway. But you don't have to come into church being loud. I know I'm old, but I ain't deaf. <laughs> See here, Pastor, that's why I love me some church mother. Because she always be telling it like it is, like it T-I-E-S. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Saints, let's get started. Uh, Sister Usher, would you lead us in the prayer? Yes, Pastor. This bow our hands. Oh, gracious Father, we come to you and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for giving us life on today yes, yes, thank and giving you. us a day we have never seen before. Yes, we thank you for all the things you've done in our lives. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, God. We thank you for this upcoming meeting. Mm -hmm. Give us understanding. Mm -hmm. Let us be in one accord. Yes, yes, and yes. this we pray, your precious name. Amen. 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 I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get started. So let's look at our agenda. And I can see that the first thing on our agenda is the pastor's anniversary. Yeah. Now, this event is coming up upon us really, really quick. So. Mother Rosie, I'm glad that you could make it today. Pastor, I'm sorry that I'm so late. I apologize to everybody for being so late. No, that's all right. You, we, we're doing all right on time. I'm, I'm glad you could make it. Now, what was I talking about? We was talking about the upcoming pastor anniversary service. Oh, yeah. Like I was saying, I, I just want to get this out of the way so we can talk about the other things we need to discuss. Mother Rosie, are you feeling okay? Yes, Pastor. I'm all right. I just have a lot on my mind, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Well, I don't want to take up the time, and we're supposed to be talking about your pastor's anniversary. Mother Rosie, there's always time for you. Please talk about it if you want. When I look at the news every night, I see our children getting killed, shot down because of all of this senseless violence. And then we got these marches going on. For what? They're, they're not solving the problem. Don't get me wrong now. Marches are good for their purpose. But they are not saving our children's lives. That's what I'm concerned about. We're talking about the problem, we're marching for the problem, but it's not doing any good, you know? What are we really doing as a church? Our own children right here in the church are dying, and we're not doing anything about it. Wait, Mother Rosie, I totally disagree with you on that one. I believe the church is doing all that we can do to save our children. Now, we are allowing them to have services and go on trips and everything. If these parents would take some time out and teach their own children yeah. and take responsibility, then I believe our children won't be so messed up. That is all that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, what do we do? If the government 
won't help our children, then what? If the community leaders won't lead our children, then what? If the schools won't teach our children, then what? If the police won't protect our children, then what? If the families won't take responsibility for our kids, then what? Then if the church won't save our children, then what? Then the only thing that we have to protect our children is prayer. Now this country was founded upon prayer. And that's the only thing that we have to, to protect our children against the attacks that the devil has for them. So saints, let's stand up and let's pray. We're going to pray for the safety of our people and our children. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for our children. We thank you for every person standing in the need of prayer tonight, Lord. Father, look upon our leaders, oh God. But look mostly upon our children tonight. Keep them from the drug addicts, the gangbangers, Lord. Keep them from the bullets, oh God. Exchange them from books, Lord. And Father, we want to thank you for our church, for our community, for our leaders, oh God. And we thank you, Lord. Now look upon us as we go to our appointed destination, safe and sound. In the mighty name of Jesus, that those who are in their house ask themselves, what about the children? Yes. And we thank you, Lord, yes. and praise you tonight thank in you. Jesus' in name. Jesus. Let everyone say, Amen. Amen. We got it. Hello? Yes, hi, this this is Vanessa uh, Latanya's mom. I'm doing okay in yourself. Yeah, um, I was just trying to get in touch with uh, Latanya. Oh yeah, I know. Thank you for being such a good friend, Art. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Good. Oh, my baby, she's coming. Mr. Robert himself. Oh, really? Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, what's the purpose of this phone call? <laughs> really? You know what, Robert? I realize that, you know, I've been giving you my life. And in all this, I've been getting nothing in return. I've neglected my own children for you. And you know what? It's been all because you said you love me. I know what love really is. And love, it's, love is my kids. Most importantly, love is me. You just ate my sunshine. So 
mama, you still dealing with that dude? No, Latanya, it's, it's not like that anymore. Whatever, mama. I don't even want to hear it. And you don't have to explain yourself to me. I just came to get the rest of my stuff so I can go since you don't want me here anymore. Look, Latanya, it's, it's not even like that anymore, honey. Look, can we just talk? No, I don't know. You hurt me, and that's a hurt that's hard to fix. When I needed you the most, you dissed me. Your own flesh and blood, your daughter. And how I know you on trip again, huh? Tanya, I know what I did was wrong. But I'm, I'm willing to do everything that I can to make it up to you. Everybody, to, to Rhonda, to Mama, to everybody I hurt. So what about that dude you was dealing with? Latanya, he is out of my life. He's out of our lives. Well, Mama, I really did miss you. And I miss you too, baby. Hey, baby. Um, Rhonda, Latanya, could I just ask you all something? What is it, Mama? I just want to know if you guys would just forgive me for the way I've been acting lately and the things I've been doing. Yes, Mama, I do forgive you. Thanks, Well, baby. Mom, I don't know. I mean, I did miss you, and, and I don't... I'm just playing EMI for you. Okay. You know what? Your room's a mess, so come on, Tanya. Let's go clean it up. Okay, Mama. <laughs> Mama, sorry I'm late. How are you doing? What's going on? share some good news with you, and I hope this changes your life. Well, after going to court with you today, the state wasn't able to find anything against you, so they decided to drop the charges. Your case has been dismissed. You're now a free man. And I told y'all I didn't do anything. All you have to do is just listen to me. Now, you need to watch your little attitude. You're still in here, you hear me? All I have to do is call the prison guard in here and have him take you back to your cell. Do you understand me? Sir. Now, it ain't like somebody owe you something, man. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, you need to just relax yourself because your paperwork is being sent down. So in a few hours, you'll be a free man, all right? Thanks. Man, God must be really watching over you, man. Because when it comes to young men like you, the state can be really aggressive in trying to prove their case. And with all this corruption going on, God must be really looking over you. So, who's coming to pick you up? I don't know. What you mean you don't know? I don't know. You mean to tell me you don't know where your father is? No. Sorry to hear that. I just wish that these fathers step up to the plate in their child or children's lives, man. Because you seem like a pretty decent young man. I believe that you wouldn't be in this situation if your father was in your life to protect you, man. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So is your mother coming to get you? I don't think so. Why do you say that? Because she left me a long time ago. I've been living with family members and house to house, just trying to stay out of trouble. Straight off the street. Right now, I'll do anything to stay off the street. And especially if I'm coming back up in here. Well, we're going to work together to keep you out of here and not coming back in here again. All right. So Pastor, hey, what are you doing here? Come to take you home. Really? Yes. Look, Tariq, I want you to know I'm here for you, and everything's gonna be all right. Yes. We'll be out here waiting for you as soon as they release you. Okay? We'll be out there in the lobby. I'm so happy for you. I knew you were not guilty from the beginning. Thanks. And I can't wait to have you back in school. Thank you. 
going to be all right. See you out there, okay? We'll see you later. You gotta get up and get the door. Oh. Well, that's what you think. Help mommy out. Whatever. <laughs> Being my friend and you know having my back through this whole situation, but me and my mom made up and I'm not going to where I'm okay. staying. So, all right, cool, girl. That's <laughs> good. I'm so happy for you. Um, where's Trish? Um, yeah, she's taking care of some business. Mm. Did she go to the clinic or I mean, what happened with that? Yes, about that. Trisha is. Oh, that's not important. Well, it's good you and your uh, mom. No, 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 no. Who's the father? It better not be T. Well, it's not T. Okay. So, um, hmm, yeah, who? It's, um, it's Rob. Rob! Rob? What? Yeah. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> you know what? Tell Trish that if she needs to talk to someone, she can come and talk to me. It's fine. She doesn't need to be worried about Rob right now. The only person she needs to worry about is her and that baby. Wow. Right. Come on. 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 Hey, hey everybody, how y'all doing? You know, I, I, I got some good news. You uh, use that. Tarek's getting out. Oh, that is great, thank you. Jesus. I mean, God bless, I don't, you know? Yes. He amazes me all the time. He yes. is getting out finally. That's great, that is great to hear. <laughs> you know, and he's also renewed and restored his relationship with Cassandra. Cassandra? So yeah. Oh my God, that is <laughs> You know, uh, Karen, I do have something to tell you. Uh, come here, come on, come here, sister. Now that she's talking. Yeah. 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 It's is a little tough for me to say, but I, I'm gonna come out with it. Okay. It's, uh, your mother had relationships with a man who was not kind to her. He had attacked her. Okay. He raped her. She got pregnant. But what, what I'm just saying to you is, Cassandra, Cassandra is also your mother. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, dear, she, she's your mother. Sandra's my mom. But hey, you know, it's gonna be all right, girl. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Just put your trust in God. And he's got it all under control. Yes, he does. It's, it's gonna be all right, you know. You know, the Lord is gonna do great things for, for all these families. Yes, Lord. Somebody say why today is a good day. It's because God is bringing families together. And he's restored several families in our church today. He has restored the Smith family. And they had their daughter Megan return to them safe and sound. Come on, somebody. He has restored Sister Vanessa and her daughter Latanya and Rhonda. And he has renewed and restored 
their mother and daughter relationship. And last but not least, I thank God for this young lady because she's gone through so much in her life. But somebody say, but God. And God has also brought back and restored our own sister Cassandra and has renewed her relationship with her son Terry and her daughter Karen. God is good, isn't he? Now I want us all to stand in our feet and give God some praise. Because we want to thank God for what he's done in this service. Yes, he has. And I want our children to love and obey their parents and respect them. And I want our families to come together and hold hands and just be good to each other. Because in the end, family is all that we have. So stand up. Stand up and be a family. Now let us all be blessed. Blessed by this inspirational song as we go to our appointed destinations. Bless God, love you. Living day by day, trying to find my way, wanting more so I give, all I have to give. And this time judgment won't be there to sway me. So I'll stand up, be strong, and sing my song. There's a lot.